The last special type of linear maps that are, we are going to study is the skew symmetric tensors. A skew symmetric tensor is defined as the tensor whose transpose is equal to its negative. So W transpose is equal to negative W. So in, in a component form, that means that Wij is equal to negative Wji. Because Wij is equal to negative Wji, therefore the diagonal components have to be all zero. Because if I put i and j equal, for example, i and j equal to 1, I'm going to get w11 is equal to negative w11, which means that 2 w11 has to be equal to 0, which means w11 is equal to 0. And you, if you repeat with i and j equal to 2, and so on, and 3, you'll get that the diagonal components always equal to 0. For example, what you see here is a 3 by 3 skew symmetric tensor. The diagonal components are all 0, the off diagonal components are negative of each other. Every tensor, every matrix, can be decomposed into two additive components, a symmetric tensor S, which is equal to half the matrix plus its transpose, and a skew symmetric matrix that's equal to half m minus its transpose. For example, if I think of the matrix m that's equal to 1, 0, 0, 1, s, which is the symmetric component of m, is equal to half m plus m transpose. m is equal to m transpose, so m plus m transpose is equal to 2m. 2 cancels 2, it cancels the half, so s is in fact equal to m and w is equal to 0, 4. So when the matrix itself is symmetric, I get that the symmetric component is itself, and w is equal to 0. Another example, if I think of m as 1, 0.5, 0, and 1, then the symmetric component, half m plus m transpose, m plus m transpose, uh, half m plus m transpose, will give me the diagonal components are going to stay the same, 0.5 plus 0 divided by 2 gives me 0.25 and 0.25. This is the symmetric component of the matrix M. That the skew symmetric component will be equal to, when I add M and then subtract M transpose and then take half, I will get these components. And of course, you can see that S plus W is equal to 